hi everybody and welcome back to my channel so for today we have a different kind of video i am just going to play with some makeup that we've recently tried and um yeah it's all pretty new makeup so i just thought we'd do a second video of some of my favorites as well as giving some products that i wasn't really sure of another chance so please stay tuned remember to like subscribe and click the bell icon so the first product we have is this skin loving sensitive primer that we tried on last week's video from essence i still am quite undecided about this product i don't think it does much i'm not even sure why it exists because it literally does nothing usually you'd want a primer to correct like redness or big pores or just even your skin tone but honestly this does nothing so i'm quite undecided about it and I thought it would give it another go like i said in last week's video it is non-comedogenic so it doesn't block your pores or cause breakouts but other than that i'm really really unsure of what it does for your skin it does say a moisturizing primer but you could just use a moisturizer for that so once again as soon as i press record i start sweating so i'm really sweaty and my face will probably get more shiny as we go along so primer done again i don't think this is needed it's a step you can definitely skip next we're going to move into foundation and the foundation i chose for this video i don't i haven't used this on youtube yet i have used it on my instagram and tiktok and it is the revlon photo the revlon photo ready candid foundation it is a natural finish anti-pollution foundation i did wear this on new year's eve and it did look really really nice um i used to use revlon all the time the color stay back in the day so my face is sticky now because i'm sweating so i'm just gonna apply it directly on the skin like this just because it's cleaner <laughs> let's put some there i'll just do one side of the face at the at a time and that I'm just going to blend in with a foundation brush. I'm going to go over my under eyes because I've noticed my under eyes are creasing a lot lately. And my fine lines like right under my eye. But we're just going to blend that out. And look how good that skin match is. Skin match. Colour match. Okay, so that is it blended out on one side of the face it's got a nice luminosity very glowy and that's the side where I have nothing but I'm sweating so I'm getting a bit shiny but yeah I think I did pretty good with a color match considering I didn't even do a tester so at this side of the face because I haven't tried it on camera and I've only tried it one other time I think I'm just gonna blend this side out with my beauty blender. I have noticed that since I've been using a foundation brush, that foundation blends out a lot better with with a brush. If you want like maximum coverage, I feel like the sponge absorbs most of most of the product, so you end up losing at least half of it okay so that is the side with the sponge the side with the brush you can see it's got a lot more coverage so i'm just gonna go in with a little more on the side with the brush just to add additional coverage and we can check the buildability of the foundation so for me a natural finish usually means that it looks like your skin but better and it doesn't mattify it too much it doesn't have too much glow it just looks like your skin 
My skin hasn't been in the best condition lately. I have no idea why. I've been eating really healthy and drinking loads of water, but my skin's quite reactive. I have really congested pores, especially in my nose and on my forehead, across my top lip here and my chin. So I've cut down on my skin routine loads. Like I only use my <clears throat> my niacinamide um, and a moisturizer. I've cut all of my serums down just to see if my skin is reacting to something of that sort, but I'm not sure. Oh, I don't have my lips, I look weird. Anyway, swiftly moving on. I'm just gonna move on to the liquid contour or liquid bronzer. Um, I just love using it. It just sculpts up my face nicely. I've been using it a lot more lately. I never used to use it. It's just an additional step. You don't have to, but just a couple of dots on my cheekbones like that. I'm just getting a little bit more. This is the uh, She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Bronzer in the shade Warm Honey in case you're wondering. Um, it blends out so nicely. It smells like chocolate and it has somewhat of a shimmer to it. Not shimmer, but like a sheen to it. So I have really enjoyed using this. I was actually going to use my one from Primark, but I just feel like using this one today. I planned out this video according to that and I put a bunch of goodies in the basket like I always do but I think I prefer this because it blends out a lot better and it's not as it's much more subtle put it that way it does look like a bit matte and a bit muddy now but after we parted down the face I touched my shoes and um, after we parted on the face it looks a lot more natural. My hair's literally wet, I'm sweating so much. Considering it's like five degrees out. The next product we're gonna move on to is the Camouflage Matte Concealer from Essence that we also used last week. I did like, oh, in the shade 40 Medium Fawn, um, I did like the texture of it, but it did crease, and I'm not sure if it was the powder or the foundation underneath, but we're gonna try this out again today and there's a lot on the applicator so I'm just going to put a little dot there some down the bridge of my nose a little bit on the chin a little bit on the forehead and some just over here by the smile lines and I give that a couple seconds to dry down. I really wish that um, makeup was a bigger thing in South Africa. I think makeup is just coming upon South Africa now. It, it really sucks because a lot of products that I have tried are not sold in South Africa or cannot be found in South Africa. So I just think like we're really, really behind on that front. Like people do wear makeup, but we just don't have a large selection and I wish that would change. I've always, like I said, been interested in makeup, but my options were very limited. Um, at the time, I think True Words and Fashini and Edgar's were the only ones that sold makeup. And it wasn't like, it was higher end, but like Estee Lauder and L'Oreal were considered higher end then, but I just wish we had more options because I know I do have a South African audience, but a lot of the products aren't available to them. I know you can order on cult, cult beauty to South Africa, but that's just a mission and can be quite expensive. So because I'm not going to be using a eye base today because it's not part of this video, I thought I'd just do one without. I'm just adding my concealer on top of my eye and forgot about my bridge on my nose. I'm feeling like the foundation is lifting underneath, but it doesn't look like it. 
And for the concealer, I'm pretty sure I said this last week as well. The it doesn't seem to have such a matte finish. It's more like a satin finish. It's not glowy and not hydrating, but definitely isn't full matte. So this eye over here always creases. I have no idea why. I just have like three fine lines underneath the eye and it just always creases no matter what I do. So I'm just gonna ignore it because I usually make it worse by trying to add either more product or more powder or setting spray, but it's a default a factory default. I really do like this foundation. It looks really nice. I don't really want to powder it down, but I'm going to have to to add all my powder products on top. So concealer, I still do like it besides my creasing. It's a really good color match. It's not too light, but it has brightened. It's got a good um, finish, not too matte, like I said. So yeah, still like that. Next, we're going to move on to setting powder. So for this we're going to use, I've, I don't know if I've used this on here, I think I have, it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Matte and Poreless Powder. Again, I don't know anybody knows this, but it isn't vegan, which sucks, but uh, I really do like the product though. So just picking some up on my brush, tapping off the excess, tapping out the creases under my eyes, and we're just going to that on looking up and after the under eyes are set we're just gonna go and set the t-zone so the nose these are areas where i get most oily in i mean you don't have to set your face but it does lock your makeup in for a bit longer and makes it a little bit um more like budge proof so if you're gonna wear a mask i would recommend definitely setting your makeup so just can you see how now the, the um, liquid bronzer doesn't look as terrible? It just looks like a lot when you first apply it. And then once you put on your powder and your foundation, it just dulls down a bit. And we're going in with some powder bronzer as well, just to like bring it out. And if you layer your cream products and your powder products, it ends up lasting a lot longer than it would without so i would recommend and like i said it is hard to find makeup in south africa um like good makeup but that's why i'm trying essence out maybelline revlon so that you guys can choose something from that too i'm just going to put some through my eyebrows because they seem really really shiny with that brow glue on okay so enough powder I always say that and then I end up just rubbing my face even more. Next, this is a random step, but I've recently like doing this. So I'm going to like set my face or just mist it with some setting powder. So this is new. I haven't used this anywhere. I've used it once just to see the mister. It's really good. So this is the Maybelline New York Lasting Fix makeup setting spray and it's up to 16 hours wear with a matte finish but i just want to moisten up my makeup so it doesn't look too powdery so i'm going to put a bit of this on we'll move on to the eyes and then we'll come back and apply our powder products on top and then we'll mist again just so you can have a sign up so of what's going to happen so let's just spray this away from me to check the mister and then not too much then we'll leave that to dry down for a couple of minutes. So now we'll move on to the eye. For this, I'm going to use this hot dog palette again. So it is cute, but it's just like if I was a professional makeup artist, this is the last thing you'd want in your collection because it's just not professional. But I guess this isn't a professional makeup item. But yeah, cute packaging, but not so cute at the same time. Back's like bright orange. It's cute. Um, and just for a reminder, that's what it looks like inside. Colors all up my alley personally. So I just zoomed you in a little bit more so we can do this together. So I have set my eyes down with a little bit of the setting powder. So firstly, I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and I think we're just going to, again, just set the eye with this shade over here and it's called tofu dog like i said in my 
I think one of my other videos revolution is available in South Africa so just have a look on the internet and they sell it at quite a few places um, the very first palette I tried from revolution was so bad honestly I couldn't believe that it was that terrible it just didn't move it was patchy the eyeshadows didn't even pack a punch and that was the reloaded palette so if you do see that just be careful I got the purpley color one can't remember which one that was called but so now I'm gonna do something slightly different yeah I'm gonna take a fairly dense blending brush and I'm going to dip into this shade over here and it's called hot dog so it's just like a, a brownie red color like a, a pink Vienna and I'm just going to pop this on the outside of my eye like this and I'm mostly patting and then just slightly moving it in circular motions I forgot how much this palette falls out as well so I'm just gonna grab my powder brush and I'm just gonna dust off as we go along so if this happens to you as well you can do the same and then next I'm going to take a slightly smaller blending brush I'm going to go in with this color over here it's like a lighter brown and it's called bun but it does have like an orangey undertone with it and then I'm going to pick that up and also just tap off the excess and I'm going to rub that almost on the outskirts of this other color but still blending it into the color and this we're blending we're not tapping because we're just trying to diffuse the edges of what we just laid down I don't know why my throat's so croaky today so it's just like I'm trying to like halo the color but they they seem really really close in color so I'm going to I'm going to dip into this color called mustard over here which is a mustard and we're again just going to take a fluffy brush tap off all that excess and I'm just going to halo around this again just lightly circling let's try this I'm going to take a flat brush and again we're going to dip in with tofu but because we're using a flatter brush now I'm going to put this on the eye but I'm just going to pat it on again Then we're going to take that first brush with the shade called Hot Dog and I'm just going to, not picking up anymore, I'm just going to run that along the edges like this. Then for underneath the eyes, we're again we're going to go in with Hot Dog and just start on the outer corner with this orangey shade and we're just going to run that all the way along. And then with the same brush, we're gonna take that mustard color and just run it right underneath and merge those two colors like we did on top of the eye. Then I'm just gonna take a small flat brush and I'm gonna dip in to this shade over here. It's called Fairground. It's like an orangey, let me just show you. It's like an orangey yellow duochrome. And that we're gonna place in the inner corner like that so it's a little bit of a different look but I thought it would be fun just to try something different um I have been liking this look it just looks I don't know it looks pretty cool so I'm just going to pop off camera complete the other eye and then we'll come back and move on to something really exciting so like I said next item is really exciting but it's not really next but I can tell you now I got these um, magnetic eyelashes so I've been really really excited to try them I, I, I got them yesterday I think delivered so we're gonna try them today so firstly I just need to curl my eyelashes so just going to use my eyelash curlers and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like that and then we're going in with the Lash Princess. It is honestly my favorite mascara at the moment. So just taking this and I'm just going to do one coat of my lashes. 
we will do the bottom lashes afterwards. So, ah, I blinked. So, this is what it looks like inside. There's a little mirror in, you get two, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs of lashes, two lash adhesives, one lash adhesive remover, and then this application tool. So, it's very exciting. So, I'm just going to shake it up first, because it says to shake it really well. I think my makeup eye shapes are a bit different, or my actual eye shape is just different. So it has a brush applicator like that and we're just going to add a line which we'll do like liquid liner. First thing I've noticed is that it's quite dry, the actual glue. I think I need to add the liner before the mascara so next the other eye i'm definitely going to add the liner first and then while it dries we'll add the mascara so just letting that dry down I'm not sure if all these lashes are the same but i think i'm just going to go for the first set underneath the mirror over here i think it's dry enough so i'm just going to Oh my goodness, it works, but but the magnet on the inner corner is actually really poking my eye. So I'm not sure if I need to trim that little bit off or if it's an actual magnet. Let's try and pull them off. Oh my God, they're actually like stuck down. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like you can see right where it ends over there. So maybe I should take some, maybe I should just take some normal liquid liner and we'll just draw a line over here. No, that doesn't work. I just messed up my eye makeup. No, they are not very comfortable. Let's try the other eye and then we'll make a decision. Okay, so for the magnetic lashes, I'm not very sure about them. I have to try them a couple more times. Like I said, the glue did go gloopy um, while I was using them. I think I applied them at like a different length to my inner corner so it looks a bit strange but I also do have two different eye shapes so I'm I'm not sure if I like them to be honest I can feel them lifting already and it's supposed to be magnetic anyway let's move on um, so we're gonna use a very fluffy brush which means it's time for bronzer it's one of my favorite steps in the makeup routine so we're again using a Essence one, it's the Contouring Duo, and I'm going in with the lightest shade, just dabbing into that, and then just on the cheekbone, just to nicely bronze up the face, and I'm going in big circles, so it covers like a nice big area. Fine, no, second last step before lips, we're going in with this Milani Baked Blush. Love this stuff. Like I said in my um, high-end versus affordable makeup, it is so close to the MAC one that I really love. So just popping that on the apples or the cheeks and up to the temple. I'm not going in with any highlight today. And then just some on the top of the nose. And then lastly, we have lips. So I wanted to wait for the lip combination because we didn't... I didn't really know what direction I was going in with the eyes, but... So, for lip liner, I'm going to go in with something a bit more neutral as well, and this is from Profusion Matte Lip Liner. I can't remember the colour combination, but if you go... Um, the colour... company, The colour... Name, or the name of the colour, but um, you, if you go back to my savers video that I did like a few months back, you'll be able to find it there. And it is like an orangey color and i'm just going to line and slightly fill my lips with it i actually haven't done this color combination before so if it doesn't work we're just gonna take it off and then i have the charlotte tilbury hepburn honey and it is like a very light nude i love it with brown 
lip liner but i thought i'd try something different because we have like some orange going on in the eyes and uh just going to put in the middle and we'll mix this together there we go i don't know how i feel about the combination it's new and lastly some setting spray i'm just going to buff this out and then we'll do setting spray setting spray again the maybelline one i really love the stuff and this time drench the face because it is the last step so trying that i'm gonna take our sponge and just push in everything that we just laid down i don't always show this step on camera but i just like to like kind of take a step back and just like evaluate what we have going on and as don't know if you can see but my blush has dulled down quite a bit so where is it there it is so i'll just add a tiny bit more blush yeah that looks good and then just taking my bronzer brush there's nothing on just rubbing it along the cheekbones like that and this is our finished look so i know this is a very random video i just thought i'd throw together some things that i really enjoy using and some of the stuff that i was skeptical about and just thought i'd give another chance so in and i there was a couple of first time uses <laughs> so uh, for, for first time uses uh, the setting spray is amazing the foundation is amazing i really recommend it and um the lashes i'd have to give it another go to make a conclusive decision on that but so far i do not like them i suck at doing false lashes anyway but these are just horrendous the glue is all gloopy and gross um yeah but for everything else um i tried the essence products again i really love them except that the primer i don't see a point for it um it is really an un unnecessary hundred rand or four pounds however much it is for you uh, it really is not worth it like you can completely skip that step um the eyeshadow palette i really love still i did say that on my previous video i did really enjoy that um I, let me know what you think about the eyes like i love doing that look where it's like all the colors concentrated on the outside and it's basically like your skin tone in the middle um it's all matte basically with a little bit of shimmer in the inner corner i love it so let me know what you guys think hopefully this isn't another long video i'm literally so terrible i just talk so much and when i'm editing i'm just like i can't cut that out because it just flows anyway thank you so much for joining me guys i hope everybody has a good evening please subscribe and like and drop a comment for engagement it helps with uh, the algorithm so that youtube can recommend my video to other people which is really important so yeah so hopefully you'll join me next week again um last week's video didn't do so well the essence video but hopefully with this one coming out you'll go back and watch those but yeah other than that have a great evening bye